Rainfall in the southwest of Western Australia is now around 16% below the long-term average. Department of Water scientists are busy measuring just how much this climate change is impacting on the region's freshwater rivers, particularly the Blackwood. Localised rain gauges are set up to receive a unique signature or fingerprint of the rainfall as it falls into the ground. Hydrogeologist Travis Catlin has been leading the study. This side here is a, a rainfall collector and we've got um, five sites located from Nanup to Marga River and a couple up on the Swan Coast of Plain. Samples of water are also taken from deep underground using monitoring boards set up by the department. Much care and precision is taken to ensure an accurate reading. The gauges were set up in the main recharge area of the Blackwood where the Leaderville and Yarragadee aquifers are infiltrated. Rain gauging was combined with aquifer and river water sampling and laboratory testing to track the fingerprint of the rainfall. Thanks to this Royalties for Regions funded exercise, the department now has a very clear picture of how the flow of the river works. For the first time we have fully traced water droplets in this unique part of the southwest as they travel underground and then out to sea through the Blackwood River. The study continues the world-class hydrogeological work by the Department of Water, mapping the impacts of climate on water resources in the south. This is the point in the river where Yarragadee discharge begins, effectively. Upstream is Daradup Gauge, which is the end of the leadable discharge. This is where we start to see Yarragadee. Hydrologically, it's unique. Ecologically, it's unique. The data we're collecting at the moment will inform us of how the aquifers interact with the, with the, with the river, um, inform us on how we're going to manage the whole system from a groundwater management perspective, and also inform us on how we can constrain and conceptualise our groundwater fire models, which ultimately feed into our planning processes. So that all this information and knowledge we're gaining from, from this exercise will, will definitely put the department and our science at the forefront. And so it's important to, to know the relative contributions of runoff, groundwater discharge. Without that relative region funding, this, this investigation would not have occurred and we wouldn't have the ability to um, create a new model which will um, help us make better management decisions for the system. This was made possible by Royalties for Regions. Thank you.